There is an ongoing public dispute going on between the Adani Group and US-based Hindenburg research firm. As you may know, the Adani Group is an Indian conglomerate who has businesses in ports, agribusiness, defense, real estate, and renewable energy. They have been accused. I'm repeating the word accused. They have been accused by the US-based Hindenburg Research Company of making false and misleading statements about its financial practices. Now let me tell you a little bit about this US-based firm Hindenburg Research. It is a short-selling research firm. In case you don't know what is a short-selling firm, it is an investment company that profits from selling securities it does not own, with the hope of buying the same securities back at a lower price to make a profit. Basically in stock market, you can short-sell, which I believe is only limited to intraday trading. In short-selling, you don't buy the stock, you instead sell the stock, reverse of buying. This process is known as short selling. Now you will only make profit if the value of the stock reduces. When you buy a stock, you make profit only if the stock price increases. Whereas in short selling, you will make profit only if the price of stock reduces. Short selling is a controversial practice and is often used by hedge funds and other investment firms to bet against the market or specific stocks. There is a famous movie, The Big Short. It's a good movie. Watch it. You will learn about shorting. Anyhow, so this US-based Hindenburg firm did the exact same thing. If you go to Hindenburg firm's website, the best part is you will not find any address, basically unknown origin. And if you look at their Wikipedia page, you will see founded in 2017, number of employees 5. So basically it takes a company of 5 employees to generate a report that can cause a dent to a country's economy and that to whose origins are unknown. Now they have asked 88 questions to Adani Group. You can Google them, it's available. 65 of these questions have been duly disclosed by Adani portfolio companies in their annual reports available on their websites. On the balance 23 questions, 18 questions are related to public shareholders and third parties, while the balance 5 questions are baseless allegation based on imaginary fact. Adani Group has given a 413-page answer. You can find the report online. If you have patience and critical understanding of finance, then I suggest you should read the entire report. Now, first of all, no Indian firm has to give any justification or answer to some shady US firm. Asking questions is very easy. And the only thing the extreme left liberals are good at is simply asking questions. Even we have questions. Questions about the origin of this firm Hindenburg. We need their financial reports and names of their partner groups. If you can look at their Wikipedia page, it's written. The report is then circulated to Hindenburg's limited partners, who together with Hindenburg, take a short position in the target company. So we have questions regarding who their limited partners are, because clearly I can see that their limited partners have definitely grabbed the opportunity in short selling Adani stocks. Hindenburg will not do it. Their client companies will short and their client companies will pay Hindenburg some commission. If you directly look at Hindenburg's financial statements, you will not find Adani stocks. They are getting paid from third parties. Luckily, I have taken a screenshot of Hindenburg's Wikipedia page. So here it says, Hindenburg does not take profits if the target company's share price declines. I have taken a screenshot yesterday night, where it was written, Hindenburg takes profits if the target company's share price declines. And after I posted it on my Instagram story, within few minutes of my posting, they changed the statement to Hindenburg does not take profits if the target company's share price declines. Here also, the Ministry of Truth was making edits in a hurry and they forgot to edit the word takes. Now they have corrected it. So here is all the three screenshots together. Now anyone can edit Wikipedia pages, there is no doubt in that. But yesterday when I pointed out the mistake and took a screenshot and posted it on my Instagram story, immediately after a few minutes it was edited. So whoever has done it, either they are a member of Hindenburg firm or someone who is a sympathizer of the firm, or it can be anyone from you who is watching. But the point is, someone got triggered and somebody did the necessary changes in hurry. Nevertheless, I'm not concerned about who did it, but I can tell you why this report was made and what was the intention behind this. I even posted my observation on Instagram. So here are the points. So lately, our foreign minister S.J. Shankar has been calling out Western leaders and their media's hypocrisy. Then, as you know, India sided with Russia. Actually, we didn't side with anyone, but indirectly and diplomatically, we sided with Russia because we are aware of the reality of the Ukraine war. Then India refused to follow the Western narrative. India is also heavily buying Russian oil and doing non-dollar-based transaction. 
The most important point to note is throughout this Russia Ukraine war period the Indian economy and the Indian stock market was doing much much better compared to the US and European market. And now this one report by a suspicious US based research company has caused the Indian stock market to go on bearish trend since last week. If you remember back in December 2020 Pakistan had accused India of funding disinformation campaign based on some EU disinfo labs report and that trick did not work. This is the same thing, same tactic. And then couple of weeks ago, the BBC documentary on Prime Minister Narendra Modi was released in the UK regarding 2002 Gujarat riots. We do not need BBC to tell us what happened and what not. The Supreme Court of India has given its judgement, that's the end of it. Only the opposition political parties, basically the left gang, communists and a good amount of Muslim population are interested in this documentary. Apart from them, no one is interested. It is not at all a coincidence, both UK and US government are well aware of what's happening. It is part of the game plan to bring down our country's image. Or you can say India is paying the price of siding with Russia, as well as paying the price of taking independent sovereign decisions. Next year, that is 2024, India has general elections. This year, we will get to see many such political stunts. Be prepared. I am predicting even worse than this will happen. Sooner or later, we will have to pick a street. Middle way is not going to serve. There are enough groups within our own country who can start a fire effectively from these small sparks. And then they will play the victim card by saying, Oh, now we can't even ask questions. Twitter is flooded with such people. So these tactics are old now. And I always say this, democracy is fickle. Demography is what matters. The sooner you understand, the better it is. And for those of you who understand stock market, and also for those who don't understand stock market, let me say this. Stocks have bullish and bearish trends, that is up and down, green and red. You buy whenever there is a dip. So these reports are not going to make any difference. There are people who will make money and then there are people who will get triggered and always ask questions. And these people will not even get answers to their most important questions when they die. And now we are also getting to see in the news that the Adani group has acquired or purchased Israel's Haifa port for $1.2 billion. This is a great news. Do you realize the importance of Haifa port? Let me show you on the map. It sits right on the Mediterranean Sea. From Red Sea and then crossing Suez Canal, you can reach Israel's Haifa port. Mediterranean Sea is often known as the hub of important commercial ports in the world. Just imagine, now there will be one seaport owned by India. It is indeed a great milestone for India. So don't get bothered by any reports made by XYZ research firm. Preparing a report is not at all a big deal. Anyone with bare minimum education can do it. And there is a famous saying, the less competent should never judge the more competent. Adani Group is a strong business pillar and contributes heavily to the Indian economy. Respect that. Whereas this so-called US-based Hindenburg research firm, whose origins are unknown, holds zero credibility, at least in this side of the world. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.